Okay, here's what I would have done. Bro, no one cares what you would have done. Actually, everyone cares. Welcome to Let Me Book the Territory, the podcast made for smart marks and nostalgia nerds. Brought to you by the Embrace the Turn Up Podcast Network. And now your hosts, A-Dub. E-B-A. E-Ray. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Everybody who loves to listen to the greatest podcast about wrestling that there ever was. This is another episode of Let Me Book the Territory. It is I, E-Ray, the quasi-bad guy, the Diet Coke of Evil, Peen Malenko, Von Swagner is here. And of course, I am always joined by my great colleagues, my gentlemen, uh, number one, Dubskis, the tribal chief, the guy that would put Bobby Buffet to shame if he ever went to Country <laughs> Buffet. What's going on, Dub? Feeling good, man. You know, we are the pod that the best there is, the best there was, and the best there will be of this wrestling shit. And we are coming up on the best time of the year in wrestling, so I'm ready. What's up? It's popping. Well, I love to hear it. And then, you know... When we get excited, we got to go to our gremlin face dog, <laughs> as Dub <laughs> likes to say. <laughs> the, 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 uh, the, was it, damn, what's the dude's name? I can't remember it from, um, from SpongeBob, the King, King Minus or something of that nature. But his head was very shiny and it reminds me of the inventor of the skull cap slash speaker headphones. Slash Bro scanners, Fester he's about X. to right. Slash <laughs> Uncle Fester, he's about to make my head explode. Charles, <laughs> we got BA in the building. What's going on, Brody? E Ray, A Dub, the fellas, my brothers, what's popping? It is I, B A D B I C, aka Black IRS, aka Bro Fester X, because I got no yeah. beanie. <laughs> I'm in everybody's thoughts tonight. I know what you're thinking Whoa. out there. And yes, this is a real beard. Bros to the What's brain. good? It exploded <laughs> us. I, I need to get that. It's so funny. You just exploded. Oh, yeah. Oh, it did like, yeah. yeah. And then I did, you could call me Scanner BA tonight, I guess. Yes. My head just exploded like a Tom yeah. Savini special effect. <laughs> Explosions like a Michael Bay movie. All yes, right. Yes. Bayham. It's pure Bayham <laughs> right. this episode, ladies and gentlemen. So get them. ready because we are two weeks away from WrestleMania Hollywood. And all that entails. I mean, I'm jealous. I was at Wale Mania last year. I've heard some of the announcements is going to be in this Hollywood lineup this year. Wish I was still on my Hollywood e tour. I am not, though, so, you know, we, we'll catch the footage like everybody else. But um, where do you guys want to start this week? I mean, we got some some things. Some things have happened. Should we start where we normally start and smack of the downeth? I mean, or should some, we some smack important down. things happen in the smack of the downs. Well, why don't well, you tell us our tribal pod, Chief? All right, what went so down? The most important thing ever happened. We got our triple threat for the IC title. No, I'm kidding. The reunion. I mean, of all reunions happened. We started off the show, Sammy and KO, you know, they go at it again. First of all, Cody Luther King tried to bring them all together with another fire suit, um, you know, and KO was like, no, I'm done. I'm out. 
And then Sammy made a, a plea of all pleas and said, yo, we're brothers. I love you. I don't care if you don't want to fight by my side. I just want you to know that. And then KO left. And then, <laughs> and then, Sammy, of course, gets jumped at the end of the night by the bloodline. Of course. And who comes back? He did. He went to Waffle House and said, you know what? It's not the same without the Brody here. Came back, saved Sammy from the Usos, and KO and Sami Zayn gave the people what they wanted. And the hug of the century to the pop of the century. Mm. And uh, it's just, it's, it's Shakespeare. It's, it's just Shakespeare. BA, what, how do you feel about the, the hug of the century? Should they have saved it? Did they do it at the right time? What do you think? No, what do you, what do you think? I, as y'all know, and y'all love to remind the people, I was not in the streets when y'all was watching the OG NXT, but I know enough about it. So what shocked me, I was like, wow, this is the first time they've ever been like kayfabe friends on like TV, like it's like tag team to my understanding. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, twice, thank you. Second A-Dub. time, yeah. Errors and omissions, yeah. thank you, Adel. Uh, uh, but yes, but, but again, first, you wasn't watching then, so like for, exactly. The first I was just time going off of be friends. what yeah, I know, yeah, 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 which isn't as much as you two. Um, admittedly about three enough. WrestleManias ago, where we start seeing them come together and then they broke apart again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but it was never but. like like I don't know. This just seemed different because I think I vaguely remember what you're talking about. But it wasn't okay. like a complete like it was still some tweeting. Yeah, it going wasn't on like oh, let's hug. It was, it was like some like, kind of like how uh, like Keith Lee and, and Swerve had they they were cool, but you know uneasy you, you alliance. Could, you could fit exactly. That's a great term, you right. That needs to be yes. in a wrestling dictionary. Uneasy alliance. I like that. <laughs> sorry, so I'm like deadly alliance between Shang Tsung and Quan Chi. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Or the, da- uh, or the dangerous alliance. Shout out to Paul Heyman. Um, Ollie dangerous. Yes. Right. There we go. Yes, sir. With the biggest phone known to or, man. Or Alliance Ohio, which is scary. <laughs> I was about to say. I've, I've never scary, visited. Scary, unlike Middlefield? What? Huh? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I think that's it, like. It a, sounds beautiful, but it is nowhere to play with. It I ain't like, Cleveland. Oh, my gosh. I ain't, might get stabbed. Ain't no alliances going on in Alliance. No brotherhood. Not for us. None. <laughs> Right, except, except the one on this podcast you. only right. alliance you'll see that all weapons formed against you shall prosper in alliance <laughs> right, right. it's dangerous <laughs> clank clank lock your door Taco Bell gets shot uh, oh, yeah. but outside of that um, yes this alliance this this time felt like so much love it was a lot of investment here and I mean I know we kind of skipped over and we won't go through the minutia but I loved the opening of what was being said. Like Sammy's pleading with um, KO and and saying the things that you would think are the right things. But oftentimes, if you've ever been in a relationship, everybody but Dub knows this. (laughs) Gotta do it. Um, But everybody knows it's like you think you're saying the right thing and then your partner reacts completely like... Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Why, why don't that didn't work? I thought that was what you wanted to hear. It's like, no. So, Sam, Sammy was going on about we don't even got to be friends. We ain't got to work together. We just got to beat the bloodline. And he made it very much like a business relationship or just, uh, I'm using you to, to, an, to a means to an end where KO is just like, but that's the problem. We are friends. We're brothers. We've been to each other's weddings. We're, you know, it's deeper than rap. And we've put on some of the greatest matches of all time in any promotion. And in almost every promotion. <laughs> and now you want to just say, oh, we ain't got to do this. Like, they're like, get the hell out of here. And when he said that, it clicked in Sammy's head. Kayfabe. He's like, oh, shit. I am neglecting the friendship that was actually there. Cause I did jump him and I I did kind of sell out my friend for the bloodline because nobody else was respecting me, blah blah blah, etc. So forth. So they we they did a lot of weaving into these loose threads about their friendship, which again, if they would just came together, fine. But the fact that they took the time to really make it like not a just oh yeah we should do this but to really bond and like break it down what's necessary and then at the end of the evening 
when Sammy is looking at him and KO just marches towards him, gives him an intense embrace. It was like, oh shit. Pop City. It was ah! it was just- Child. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. That yeah, it was it was just beautiful. Like it's fun. One of the funny things about wrestling is like you see two real life best friends hugging in the ring and everybody's just losing their minds. Like, you know what? That's why this is the greatest shit in the world. Because when it's done right, there's nothing better. Um, At all. And that's going to lead us to what we kind of predicted as like the Sammy storyline was kind of coming to an end in the bloodline. That we, that if Sammy doesn't get those belts, which we all thought would have been insane, but we would have been here for it. Been amazing. Yeah. But, yes. but the obvious thing after that was Sammy and KO against the Usos at Mania. And then, you know, we all started to realize once again that it's always been about Jay. And Uh that's where we're going to get. We're going to we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Um, Elsewhere in SmackDown, like I said, open it up to show. We got our triple threat match solidified for Mania for the IC title. It's just apparently the IC title is just all Europe. It's just all Europe this year. Sheamus, Drew, Gunther. Um. On a scale of one to one that you got to take a week off because you had a match with Mako, how hard hitting is this match going to be? It's going to be stiff as hell, man. It's gonna, they're going to they're gonna beat the shit out of each other. Um, and that's good. Think about, like, let's go back in time, not too far, but to um, the, the, the Clash of the Cundiff, the Clash of the Castle, and they had that opening match how like just crazy that match was just imagine this one that was that was most people's match of the card exactly exactly yeah, like, so just imagine what those three dudes are gonna do on a mania um stage it's gonna be pretty epic i have a feeling it's gonna be one of the contenders for match of the night whatever night they have that match so the losers of that match definitely get the next week off right <laughs> losers winners a person sitting too close in the audience <laughs> it's like just the sick. just the power from that slap it's gonna be like dragon ball z when you start slapping people <laughs> and the wind and rocks start flying or, or sitting in the third row of a gallagher show <laughs> sorry had to had to Spire some fruit <laughs> Yeah, Who brought one, wine apples? I hate just wine one knife apples. edge chop and the spanish announce table breaks Yes, oh, yeah. that that is the type of force level that I'm, I'm like three thousand size slapping power. <laughs> all, all of these guys would be considered slap action champions versus uh in um in uh Dana White's league. So yeah, I I, I expect some crazy chops and crazy just British hard fucking strong style type shit. Like and it's got to be something for not like I I think depending on what night it goes on it could be like a fantastic opener and probably if not one of again depending on the night it starts match of the night I would I would open night one with that I would too because the U S title has big match John in it so that has to go Sunday. Mm-hmm. I would yeah. either do that match or the Fatal Four Way Tag Match that we'll be talking about that randomly got put on the card Monday. I like that. I okay. wanted to, one of those two matches. I think both of them should be both different nights. So perhaps you do the fa- the because uh, there's no belts on the line. Right. You do, but so okay. This is the thing because now we I'm getting all, all my wires crossed. Mm. Marty, ah! it makes it tough about starting on Friday yeah. night when we record on Wednesday. So much has happened yeah. by then. Yeah. Um, I'll say so because that title match, there's two tag team matches that would be amusing here. The the Fatal Four Way, which is just like that should be shenanigans. That's a great opener, mm-hmm. but you also don't want to put Kevin and uh, Sammy versus the Usos on that same card because you want to break up that tag team shenanigans so i would say maybe you start sunday with the fatal four-way 
And then if we're thinking that it's possible that KO and Sammy versus the Usos main event. That's your main event night one. I mean That's what I, that's what I'm thinking. I, I know it, it's it's hard. No disrespect to, you know, the women's title matches, but listen. Or or Seth versus uh Logan Paul or big match John versus yeah. the U.S. title because that's a good look for the U.S. title as well mm-hmm. to put that absolutely la- and, and it has the star power in there so Correct. there's a lot of that's the problem pretty much every match but uh Bianca and Asuka has the right as far as build wise uh well not every match but every like main story match because all of them have really good builds yeah, because let's I, be real, I like, not, Balor, we're gonna get Demon, Balor, and Edge could main event night one, if we're being honest. Like, that's of a, any other pay-per-view but this one. I but no, I mean, night, night one, it, you know, the story's there. It's been building for an entire year, and then this is the first time you see Demon, Balor in what? Three, four years? That's and true. Then, that could be a very, fan, like, a ending ending. That could pop it off, like... Yeah, those entrances at the end that could be amazing. So I I wasn't I wasn't there when you when you told me, but you you, you diddled me into it. Damn it, <laughs> you diddled me into it. And then you, you think about Demon Balor, like Demon Balor don't lose either, Damn. except when the ring explodes. So <laughs> um, is this Edge's I, last match? Except for when the Lord hates him. <laughs> <Right>. Just, <laughs> what, what are you, you thought you just went in. Right, get out of here, Demon. Guy, guy was just looking through the channels like, wait a minute, is that a demon? No. <laughs> can't have God that. was through a Done. WWE after that main event that he tag team with Shawn Michaels in against and the lost. McMahons. Bruh. That's crazy. Yeah, God don't mess with WWE. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but not sorry. <laughs> oh, man. I will say this, though. You gentlemen bring up a good point from what I'm like hearing in our conversation here. Um, there's been a lot of talk about just like these matches kind of seeming meh outside of the bloodline feud, of course, and the matches involved in that. So is it fair to say the the, the card is starting to look a little more formidable to a mania card? Do you guys still feel there's more just desired? For it? It's it's a mania card for sure. It's just mm-hmm. some of the bills just haven't been great. Like I feel like the build on this IC title match has been drawn out for a while. Like anyone with two eyes who's been watching wrestling for more than six months can say, oh, it's going to be those three guys right there. Clearly, because the I moment, like the moment Braun lost, they moved him far away from that title. Ricochet was far away from him. It Nakamura ain't been on TV in nine months. It feel like He's still surfing in Japan. <laughs> so like, <laughs> my man, all he cares about. <laughs> I'm a I'm a, I'm a, I'm right, I'll play with either, man. Get that money. He, he got he got his what two three mania checks. He's like, I'm good. I'm oh yeah, chilling. man. I'll do whatever you want. But yeah, like no strong style for me. And that's been my <laughs> thing. Like, there's a the builds of some of these matches, it just hasn't been there. Asuka and Bianca should, that should be like a no question main event for night one, but the build just isn't there. And it's unfortunate because this character wise is the best version of Asuka and Bianca's on her black John Cena run. So like it's there, like all the elements are there. They just can't put them together and put that puzzle piece together. But this card, oh, this is a mania card. Anytime you got Logan Paul and John Cena with the Miz hosting, it's a mania car. I can't and argue. LA Knight somewhere. And yeah. LA Knight catching a Stone Cold Stunner. Hopefully. Uh, question. Two. So two questions because we're, we're just kind of diving into the car at this point. Um, I got two, two things that I can throw out for you. Which one? And these are both for Bobby. Bobby Lashley, because Bobby Lashley has found himself without an opponent because uh, that third was that Friday slash Monday there was no Bray Wyatt, and then reports came out Bray Wyatt is indeed injured or something. <laughs> so still no real word on that. But uh, Uncle Howdy will not be visiting by himself. Sorry, BA. Another segment of yours has now been destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> The, the lion's den has been closed. The <laughs> now the the Uncle Howdy theories, fun, yeah. Uncle, Howdy. Uncle Howdy's fun house is is condemned. Done so. Man, I'm, I'm sorry. What you'll you'll find it. It's just you like, have the like, death like, touch on these gimmicks. 
do. It's just like a, you know, it's just like you got to find your gimmick. It's, it's okay. Death. Just, yeah, what? Being that actor work. who's in like new pilots every fall on NBC Facts. that just get canceled. I am um, Dave Chappelle in the mid 90s. <laughs> I was, I was, I was going to say uh, Tracy Morgan in, in the early 90s or uh, yeah. any any upcoming any comedian any black, black comedian that wasn't martin or <laughs> anthony right, martin Anderson, Lawrence. flex yeah. alexander all of them kevin Home hart was in a couple out of, of space. them boys in out of space <laughs> thanks ba <laughs> brought to you by ba B. brought to you by upn <laughs> like, <laughs> i won't be around for long see ya <laughs> <laughs> well. that's the there. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you I don't know, man, the original sucks. on the SmackDown. Oh man! Oh, oh shit! Yes, that's it is. crazy. <laughs> it Smack- all comes together. SmackDown Circle. saw the right on the wall and got out of there so immediately. Right. Like, this yeah, went to last. Sci-Fi Channel. SmackDown got out of there once they saw Jagged Edge performing. Let's get married. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Yo, yo, right, this is too style- damn black. That's say, what makes sense. That would be a great nostalgia. When well, UPN says it's Smackdown. too black for us. Oh, right. Yeah. You know you got where something. they have Flex Washington and Malcolm, <laughs> Malcolm Jamal Warner and Eddie Griffin. Oh yeah, Malcolm and going Eddie. Crazy. Malcolm and Eddie was. Oh, that was my. Sh- hey, they had five all episodes the bo- from syndication. By the way, they were five Damn. episodes away from Damn. syndication. You see how they do we us? We were five steps <laughs> from eternity. <laughs> five seasons for the royalty checks. Baby, <laughs> right. we keep wishing. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, I, I just can't. I can't even think where I was after Uncle that. Howdy. I, was too I have fun. nothing to oh, find. Oh, he's done, oh, yeah, he's done too. That's right. Kiss Malcolm and Eddie, no more. Uncle Howdy, gone as well. I'll be here. Waiting, Sorry, Uncle Howdy. I know you'll be back. Oh, Paul. Send him. They invested up. Right. too much in your in your giving. You'll be back. We'll see, Mr. Dangly Earrings. We'll see. But <laughs> since that is no longer happening, and now uh, we don't have Bray to do so, we need Bobby Lashley to do the Muscle Man dance in one of two places. Either he goes and has the entrance of a lifetime added to SmackDown's Intercontinental Championship match, make just make it a fatal four-way ridiculous big meaty man slapping meat match pause or you give him a match with the guy who's been seeking his wrestlemania moment l a night yeah and they still got time to make it a build at least still got shit together still got two episodes two episodes left what do y'all think thoughts i i like la night and bobby like i yeah, they, they patched together worse things in less time and put it on our TVs on Mania's past. So why not this? I, I'm here for LA Knight. He deserves a payday. Yeah, and I think it'd be fun too. And even if Bobby wins or loses. Oh, oh I mean, or I forgot. There's one other option that does not seem likely because they feel like they're going full go on this trash. Uh, Brock Lesnar... Versus almost. Oh yeah, they're invested. Versus Bobby Lashley. <laughs> Let me ask you, why couldn't we just see Bobby Lashley uh step in after Brock just wipes the floor with almost like next week? Because it's and not then, Brock's idea. Brock wants to work with almost. Brock's on the way out. He's gonna do the job. What? Do you think Brock wants to work with Almost? I hope that was sarcasm. He, no, he's no. the one that pitched it. They pitched him Bray Wyatt. He said no. And well, I don't. Almost, well, okay, two you. two and different things. Almost. I mean, but he probably picked Almost because he didn't want to work with Bray Wyatt. Now that was the story that it was like, hey, I don't really want to do this. He this played himself, stupid. man. He could have got what he wanted. He could have got that trip home that he you know he don't want to be. He just wants his payday. You know he That's was. what might open up the fucking pay per view. WrestleMania night one, Brock versus Almost. Yeah, Eight might seconds of it. fury. I'm ready to go home. That might be night one. Yeah, that might be match. it. That's a good point. If he Man, did it with the terrible. heavyweight title against Seth Rollins at was it SummerSlam? He that anything's possible. With no, that was at Mania. When Seth beat that him. was Mania. Yeah, I just yeah. Because yes. Heyman came out and said, "Hey, if I'm not closing this show, damn sure not sitting I'm through up. the whole thing." 
Uh -huh. We opened the show. We we're like, oh shit. That's yeah, a good that was with uh, Beast Slayer, Seth. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. So, um, got it in him. Well, Dub, uh, I don't, I don't know. Where, where do you want to go from here? Because we, we're all over the place. Yeah, we are. We, we, we're covering there SmackDown is still covered before we move on. I mean, if you want to talk about Dominic disrespecting his daddy some more. That's a weekly thing. Yeah, I was about to say. It's just, it like, hasn't progressed and it's still just... You can, you can count on that at, just like you can count on if you leave the door unlocked, Steve Urkel's popping into the house. Right. Hey! <laughs> like, are you? Can I do it's, it's that? It's like clockwork. You deadbeat dad. Right. <laughs> but, it, um, it, right. <laughs> that's exactly what But next up, <laughs> I mean, SmackDown, you know, they, they, they building some things. But Raw. Monday night Raw. I'm not talking about B.A. does after Monday Night Raw. I'm talking about Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns building this match. Is it? E, since you've been, you've been watching for a while, is this the best build since Kofi Mania for a main event? I mean, I watched from Kofi Mania on. I have to say it is. Because the other main events think you got you got Drew Brock, you got yeah, Seth Brock, game. you got Roman Still Brock. <laughs> Damn, this, there's, there's a startling uh, pattern here that I can't quite put my finger on. <laughs> is, it, um, is it he who hates men of color with titles or no? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just saying it feels like a pattern. Um, I don't, I would have to think about it. I feel like we're missing something. Uh, Rock you Cena. WrestleMania, Rock Cena WrestleMania build? No, you said or six, just No, like main yeah. event. Like main event mania oh. build. I was thinking of every WrestleMania since the Kofi Daniel Bryan match. That's the way you worried. Oh, about. okay. That's why I was like, no, it hasn't been a bigger build. Yeah, that, since that's that correct. WrestleMania, but... Yeah, you know, before Kofi that, Mania that's would be it. Before, before that, Mania's that's what I was saying. I'm like, oh, oh there, man, there's better cool. builds before Kofi Mania. Ain't not. I don't I know mean, about after. A few. I think there's... the pandemic took a lot of those possibilities away from us. In all honesty, yeah, because what could have been better the Drew, builds. The Drew Brock build was not there. No. Um, it was in front of nobody too. So. Yeah, man. There's that. Um, yeah, I, honestly, I, I would say this is this is definitely probably the best build, and I, I would say it's the best build overall. I I would actually say that Kofi Mania build had some missteps in it because I didn't like it did what um basically what Vince McMahon was doing, kind of getting involved the corporate. We don't want to see you in this. You're a B plus and him, player. Yeah, and him like having that. to fight eight people in one night. Yeah, and Vince that was man, just, it, just, it got it just, overkill it after even, a while. If we went to that roadblock when Vince was doing that, um, I've never yeah, watched like, that roadblock back. But like, it me it just it didn't feel right. It, yeah, because I'm like, oh shit, they're gonna throw KO in it instead, and it was just all these random things where I'm like. It's there. And then, like, like Mustafa Ali there. came back and, like, they tried to put him back in it because, you know, originally that was supposed to be yes. his story, which oh, I still yeah, feel sorry for man. that guy. Mustafa Ali. His, his yeah. career can be so much Pile different. I mean, we're, we're, we are talking about Raw. How about that? <laughs> My man Mustafa is... Ali went from having a spot in Elimination Chamber and... Could have been what went on to be Kofi Mania and the world title shot to creating a brand new gimmick and just getting curb stomped, That's for like lack Beyond of a squash. better word. <laughs> like Gallagher smashed. Smashing that fruit. By <laughs> almost. For what reason? Why? <laughs> like, I don't understand what's happening. And it made no sense to me. Like, if you're going to build a brand new character... And we already know almost how many other worthless people. And I mean, I use the term loosely, but how many other people you got sitting back there and catering that you can just throw at almost and I agree establish your point? Yeah, man. Why would you do that to a guy who is building up like a really good character? Actually, I, I I've never had a problem with Ali's character work for real since he's been off of Two Hundred Five Live. I've enjoyed. 
the stuff he's built. It feels good. It feels relatable. And then he gets his legs chopped off of him every time. And that's why he's like, look, I want to leave WWE. And they're like, nope. Right. You're not going nowhere. Go we home, need bro. a go sit home. Uh, we need a, a racially ambiguous guy. We need a racially ambiguous brown to throw it almost. He's like cruiserweight Rey Mysterio. It's kind of how they used to do Rey Mysterio way back when, before his WWE days. Like, oh, just throw him in the ring with Rey Mysterio. He'll flop around and get his ass kicked. Who cares? It's, it's like what they did with, uh, what's my guy? Braun threw him in a garbage. <laughs> Salida Del Sol, man. <laughs> that shit was so funny. <laughs> You're trash. Boom. And threw him in a yeah, dumpster. I was, laughed that was the for an hour push. straight. And now he's so I, weed. Up ambulances and shit. I cried. So, I mean, yeah, I don't understand this, but, and apparently they're trying to build something between him and, uh, and Ziggler. But that's not the way. How are they going to build the, like, the wreckage of what's left? <laughs> Just, <laughs> like, why does Dolph Ziggler care about Mustafa Ali, especially after he got squashed by one of the questionably worst wrestlers well, on the active roster. Well, because so did Ziggler. Yeah. Literally a, a week before it. That was the whole thing. That's what I'm saying. It's just two pieces of people left going against each other because they both got wrecked out by almost. Are they going to end like, up in a thrown together tag team? It's, if this was NXT, I hope not. they would have. <laughs> I would hate that. It's like. Man, I've seen this too many times. Dolph Ziggler is just a, 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 a victim of his own talent. He mm. sells too good. He looks. He makes everybody else looks great. Look great, excuse me. And it's like, he got rough rub when he got to hold the titles. Like as far as like what was happening in the in the Fed when he's had his title reigns, or him because I think he had some stuff got injured. In one he got he caught yeah. concussion after like his first title reign, and they never yes. like, so, got confidence in him again. And he's one of those guys like he, once he gets hot, like he has momentum, but you could cut his legs out and then just leave him there, like. You look at Finn Balor the same way. Like he won that title and got hurt in that match. Had to relinquish it 24 hours later. Has barely been close to the title ever since. But you can't cut Finn's legs out of him because he's just that good. So at some point, they had to stop denying him. So they would just put him in these title matches well, to lose. And they're like, well, and he's not that old. Like you forget who's not that Dolph old. Dolph Ziggler's been around for about how long? Finn's older than Dolph. But as far as like on TV, oh okay, TV age, we've seen <laughs> yeah. Dolph Ziggler. Dolph's been around since like '09 on WWE television, so right. Long run. So Finn, we've we've haven't seen that. Finn. Finn got the rocket strapped on him, coming right off of NXT. Then he gets to the shoulder injury, rehabs, comes back. Thankfully, First ever Universal S- Champion. Yeah, still create something and then just literally like oh whatever this isn't working goes back to nxt has arguably his best wwe run there oh, is easily. easily and then it's like wow this is fantastic why couldn't we it's get this so right the first time done. well you had him on tv smiling all the time and wearing rainbow Balor club shirts it just you guys didn't you didn't get it you didn't get it Clearly. But that's the nuance um, of NXT. Sometimes, like, the guys who are in charge of booking on the main roster don't get it, which is why the news about them calling up a bunch of NXT guys and writing a bunch of them off TV worries me. One or two at a time, I'm cool. But a bunch, I'm like, bro, there's, there's so much nuance on that roster right now that I'm like, yo, uh, this, this uh, is only going to end badly. I'm kind of intrigued, Dub. I'm, I'm intrigued because it, this isn't – you're not sending them up the vents, allegedly. You're not sending them up to Vince. If anything, this will prove, is Vince really running shit still behind the scenes? Or is it really Trips bringing his kids home? I mean, I don't, I'm not going to cross streams here, so I'm not even going to go into why I, oh, I'm pretty I'm sure the it's Trips. I'm crossing streams. Shout out no, to no, I, it, <laughs> It's right there with, but there's a reason why I say no, it's definitely not Vince because there's somebody who is no longer with the company big draw but regardless of that i'm going back to the nxt stuff it (laughs) it makes no sense because they aren't loaded like they once were no 
So you're already stripping some of the promising stars. So then who the hell do you got left for NXT? So let's say even if you write five people off from from the main from the men, five from the women, who's left on that roster? <laughs> like I I can't. It's gonna be a lot you, of people getting caught up from level up to go fill say, out you, the you bottom do, half. You of do the another roster. youth movement wow. like you did with 2.0. Like, I hey, mean, have, new NXT. Look at all these new faces. And I will say I this because I know they've done this in the past. Y'all schooled me on the whole like them going to colleges and visiting different teams and stuff like that to try to get let people know this is a route to like different divisions. The NIL, schools. yeah. But like it seems like they're they've expanded that promotion. Because you see it everywhere, not just like through the visual one sports, you're seeing it like them at other sporting events, like to do crossover stuff, just to show like, hey, we're 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 an option too for people Absolutely. like at the bottom of rosters in different sports. So there's something to that, Dub. I'm not. I mean, gonna... yeah, they, they don't get me wrong. They have like three years worth of kids in that program there now. I know one of them, but like. Those kids aren't ready because flex. I'm watching. <laughs> but I'm watching like, level I mean, up from time to time, and I like, still ain't. Those it's kids, not them kids. Those, right, I agree. Like maybe it's, it's about to be baptism by fire. Like, all right, y'all gonna get up on NXT because the, I mean, let me ask yeah. this. I wasn't on the show yet when NXT 2.0 started up. I just know I know how E Ray felt about it and Dub uh, when it first happened. I do know that. Seen this stuff. We was worried. But, we was worried. Did y'all have confidence in that roster in general? Like the people that we love now that we were like seeing just pop in. Like were y'all confident? Like I feel like you saw Carmelo Hayes and knew he was gonna be a star. Y'all saw well, Brown Breaker. We had saw Carmelo he... Hayes prior like to the 2.0 rebrand because mm-hmm. he just he had had his first match on NXT yeah. TV against That's Adam Cole saying. and you were like, right. oh shit, this kid's legit. But the rest right. of our roster, no clue. Von Wagner looked like a Neanderthal, still does. Well, he still uh, does, and always will be, probably. Didn't know what to make out of Joe Gacy. He ended up turning out okay. What about L.A. Knight? What was y'all thoughts on L.A. Knight when y'all first saw him? I had heard about L.A. Knight prior, I, I like and I knew, I knew he was like an indie darling. So I'm like, well, they haven't really missed on an indie darling yet. I hate the name, but we'll see. And I was, I was thoroughly surprised. It, it took a while for me. What about uh, our boy I, Grayson? I knew Grayson was a star off rip. I was like, I, I never got liked star. him. I did it. I still don't not really that, like not him. Not till Stand and Deliver last year is when I really bought into Grayson Waller. Well, I, I saw still him don't like him. Jumped but off the ladder. I seen him. Ladder. I think I seen him before that at Wale Mania and like in person. I was like, oh, he's, he's all right. And then I watched the match. I was actually in the Uber heading to uh, Stand and Deliver. When that match was happening, I was sorry I didn't get to see it in person. But yeah, again, I, I'm just not a, a Waller guy per se, like because it, it's somewhat limiting. You can have like you can talk on the mic, great, but at the end of the day, this is wrestling, so I do want to see matches, and a lot of times his matches, because of how they portray his character, leaves a lot to be desired. So for me, it's very much like the Miz. But like foreigner Miz, and I'm like, Ugh, I don't like that. <laughs> I like, I like the actual Miz, but like foreigner Miz, eh, yeah, doesn't really do nobody's it. Nobody's asking for more Miz versions from NXT. Right. That's cool. But but I but I get it, and I was like, the Miz has worked his way into our hearts. Uh, Grayson Wall, I think it takes it's going to take some more time, some more evolution of the character for me to like them. But to answer your original question, uh, when I seen that 2.0 roster, I was like. That was where the original "I'll give this" two weeks came from. <laughs> That's where it came from. I was listener, like, "I remember." The fuck! I was like, "Man, I'm giving this shit two weeks. Now I'm turning it off forever." And I never did because <laughs> the storylines were enough to keep me engaged, and it was like fun because the the main roster's product was so bad That's that at true. least they were telling good stories. They were me- I didn't know who the hell these people were. I didn't like like their wrestling per se, but it was some some storylines being told, and I was like, "All right, well, at least I have that." Then once the main roster kicked back up, I'm like, oh, "Okay, well, I'm seeing this." And then when Shawn Michaels took over, it there was also a difference in like storytelling, and I, honestly, that's what we're kind of heading to as, as we speak, anyway. 
Um, yeah, I I don't know, guys. It, I got a I got a little bit of a controversial take about HBK's booking since I've been watching because I I can see the difference between when Vince and Bruce Pritchard were back there. And is HBK. it controversial or is it going to be? We about on? to find out because I I don't <laughs> think it's been that great. I had I, it's been kind of mid. It's been like what you expect somebody to do in situations. He hasn't really shown me a lot, and he has he hasn't. He's not taking any risk. I feel like to make himself a, a quote great oh. booker. Oh, he's creating. Oh, oh, he's he's gotcha. taking a risk. He's cooling off his hottest guy for the champ. That's a risky uh, move. And I think not really. In his he eyes, though, he does. doesn't see it as a risk, though. Dub. That's the problem. Right. He sees this as a way to make sure his their grand champion. Because I have a feeling Brian's gonna be involved in these call ups. The way this whole thing looks on NXT. What? Can't stand Bronze it. on I'm Snickers sure commercials. He's definitely getting called up. That's what I'm saying. Like, he's going to go off. So now, yeah. like, to, to I think me and E-Ray see the point of this is because in their eyes, Sean's eyes, Carmelo's going to be the new Bron as far as how they book him. He's going to be their new golden boy. I've been fighting it for the last two weeks. After what I saw on YouTube and heard from y'all about NXT, I think that's what's happening here. It makes me sick to my fucking stomach, but it's is what it is, man. So you Sean's think you're going is, vanilla, vanilla bland mids, baby face with Carmelo? Because he's a mm. bland vanilla booker. Look at everything yeah. he's done from the women's division, all a bunch of stuff that we expect to happen. I, the Mandy stuff threw us off, but that was more corporate shit. But he did what we thought he would do. Roxanne's your champ. Well, was your champ? But yeah, yeah. And then, and I, I won't even say that per se. I, I just think a lot of the stuff kind of, kind of reeks of old school mentality, and that's where there's no risk because it's like these are retreads. Going to somebody's house, but it's just not done as well. As well. Oh, going no, to somebody's house that and was not watching the worst acting from Candace I've ever seen. Man. Shout out to Quill. Shout out to Baby Quill though. The the cry was no. on point. No, it wasn't. I was low key mad at all of that. I'm like, this is so fucking stupid. I'm like, like she can't really run because she don't want to jostle the baby. Correct. So she's like, stop, stop, Grayson. Stop, You're stop, hurting him. Stop. He's bleeding. Look, if my if if my girl see me get my ass pummeled, she better oh, yeah. put that damn baby that down baby and come be sat drop in the, in the playpen right. or whatever. Cause... Especially because she's a trained wrestler as well. Facts. Help I mean, me, bitch. Johnny, <laughs> Help me. Johnny just got to shoot Grayson now, right? Like, I, I mean, that's what Brian Pillman that's would do. What... Thank you. <laughs> that's what they're showing. That's what... if they want to go into like the whole booking machine, the way these bookers, right? Speak, shout out. I mean, that, that's that's coming out next week. Uh, the way right. Shawn Michaels is going, like. <laughs> It's gonna be the barbershop segment is gonna end with Carmelo throwing trick through it. <laughs> like it's gonna happen. We're just getting retreads. And and mm-hmm. and I don't want to shit on on Sean, but uh, I think he is playing it very safe. And again, it's like Creed 3. It's not bad. It's just not what I expected right. from from things of past that I really loved. This is very vanilla. And I don't think he's trying to turn uh excuse me turn carmelo hayes into a vanilla champion i think just what's happening by attempting to do this bettermanship like thing for no reason which they already just did with apollo cruz that fit better because apollo cruz is actually a a good guy as well and that they didn't have any other beef besides that him and carmelo hayes they started there i would be like dog they picked you you got the rocket strapped on your back I had to work for this. I have been showing off every single time. And that's where you, that's the build that you want to hear. But for whatever reason, it's like, I'm just as good and you're so good and we're having a compliment off. I don't want to hear that shit. Like, that's the worst thing ever to every black fan of Carmelo Hayes. We like, what is this? But what is this? The only reason we like you is because you are representative of the type of shit that we we talk Mm -hmm. and that we talk on a daily basis so i'm like get rid of polite carmelo i don't like it and then i don't want respectability politics carmelo trick ain't even saying nothing he they talk shit to everybody else but it's like they don't want to talk to bron because they are worried bron's gonna get ate up on the mic and that is making them handicapped and it's awful they neutered it's it's awful and i'm like just let them get chewed up then and then make him look good in the ring. And then, of, of course, like, like it just doesn't make sense to me. I, I can't figure it out. 
that's the angle they're going unless in the next what week or two we somehow miraculously see them because they seem like they're listening to us first trick wasn't even there and then i'm like damn where the hell trick at why don't they do this and then you start seeing him talk shit but he's still not talking shit to braun he's talking it to pretty deadly who's like the the braun buffer so they're taking all the shit that he that of the abuse that braun would be getting the verbal abuse it's like he they're um i was gonna say advocates what, what looking for a, a different word can't find it but Surrogates? i don't know <laughs> something something of that nature stand-ins stunt doubles yeah put put it in the chat put f's in the chat <laughs> i don't know <laughs> fuck um but yeah it's just they're scapegoats they're, like the, they're the scapegoats there you go dub that ain't it either but it's okay that uh, sounds right though <laughs> i thought that was it Real advocates surrogates scapegoats uh hyenas whatever they're whatever they want to be they are the stand-ins for the abuse that Braun should be getting verbally on the mic. And it's because Pretty Deadly can handle it. Pretty Deadly's Pretty, uh, I can't talk. Pretty Deadly's characters are built with a type of panache that you can actually, oh, we can retort back and we yeah, can have some fun with this. Braun is so vanilla. He's like white bread, wonder bread. They just like, you make your sandwich with it, but you are like so careful, like a house of cards. Because if you squeeze it on both ends, that shit just and pop in the middle. Now you ain't got no damn sandwich. You got this goofy, soggy ass vanilla white bread, bread on breaker. your delicious. Stupid. That bar break. It's stupid. Um, my one point I was gonna make is Wonder pretty deadly Ron. is their only heal energy. The one point to make is that they're the only heal. That's why they're there. Because you can't. These guys aren't. There's not a defined heal because they want to do this compliment on. That's why but, Pretty Deadly is there to just but that's be that, the thing. that buffer between them two, the heel buffer. But there shouldn't be a heel buffer because Carmelo Hayes is a heel, or at least a tweener. So let them continue to tween. And I, and th are, that's dude. just frustrating to me because it's this is the one of the biggest botched builds that I can that I can recall when they're doing such good work just below it with the North American. North American title looks fantastic. Yeah. And it's like still the best oh, book title shit. in all the wrestling. Yeah. Facts. That's why I got it. <laughs> yeah. Pat on my back. But I'm like, oh, this is frustrating because it's juxtaposed Wesley, who they've made Uber baby face man, and he's like, I'll give everybody a chance and you can have a chance and you can have a chance. And then niggas is like, no, nah, yeah, for real. I want my chance. <laughs> and everybody's stepping up and it makes for good television. So now he's like, he went uh, extra porn star with it. Like, I want five guys. And they was like, whoa, whoa buddy. Whoa. Whoa. And then he was like, well, we're not going to do that. Um, but we can have a battle royale to find out or we'll let you select five and y'all have a have a match that's like all right cool and now we're getting uh layer after layer after layer so you got Ilya dragging off you you got big head mcdonough then like dragon lee having his day oh yeah dragon lee the, the newest entrance how'd y'all feel about how he just pop populated i i, I don't know any of his work i don't so, know I, I like it in the fact that I like it. It keeps with the tradition of every stand and deliver or whatever they're going to end up calling this <clears throat> mania event oh, before God. WrestleMania. <laughs> New talent. Let me tell you something, brother. Let me tell you okay, something, brother. It works for me, brother. <laughs> New talent debuts in the North American title match. I, I like that you're keeping that tradition going. Um, I've seen only like what the neckbeards post about Dragon Lee on Twitter and it looks like he, he can flippity flip so oh yeah I'm in I mean that goes that, that works especially if uh I you know traditionally they put one big hitter in there and it, last time it was a uh, Bronson Reed um you have Von Wagner in there I'm sure one time they got both uh, white blade, hard justice looking like, I want some of this action. Then you got uh, Baba Tunde or the, the Kimbe Matumbo, whatever that motherfucker's name is. <laughs> got him in there. No, no, no. I want my title. So all that shit. I am ready for it. Like, give me that. And Axiom. And Axiom. Oh, I man. need it. 
I am so excited for this. It's like every other build of this card seems really fun and exciting almost. Because at first, this shit was like, I don't have to watch this <laughs> technically. And now it's, it's turned into like, oh shit, this stuff is, looks kind of fun with everything else. But the main event. Mm. What are your thoughts on the North American? BA, go. Well, Love it. Even though I was complaining about the open challenges, they finally got somewhere with it. So I'm not mad at it. It'll give us a crazy ass match. I mean, let's just y'all put the shit over already. I can't put it over any more than y'all have as far as the North American title. How it's been the best title on that show since it came into inception. It's gonna be fun, man. I'm just glad they got away from the, all the open challenges. It just seemed like lazy booking. So I'm glad they got away from that. Some somewhat. I, I'll say this. So. Dub, since we're there, can do you have the list? Let's run down this uh, prediction card. Yeah, so, yeah. since we're already here, we might as well give y'all the rap. We we gonna speed run this motherfucker, right. baby. Here we go. So, I got it on fansided.com. They got it listed this way. Whoa, what, what was that? Say? Fan, right. What? <laughs> fansided. Fansided. Oh. Anyway. All right, Dub. I can just remember, I can see through your glasses. <laughs> right, exactly. Right, FantasyIsland.com. We got Johnny Wrestling Ooh. versus Grayson Waller. Um, I'm predicting that Poor Johnny Jim. just shoots Grayson in the face. For, <laughs> that's for that's how it trip. should end. I mean, Any yeah. match, you show up at my house, that's how that match is in. <laughs> book, not book, shoot, kayfabe. Well, it oh, is it's, a, a, it's a shoot. Meter. It's a shoot. Right. It's un Exactly. <laughs> Like my man Brian Pillman said, it's a shot. It's gonna be to your face. Ba three sixteen nine millimeter to your face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I, I guess oh, it is right. an unsanctioned match. Oh, so, yeah. and who they're in Florida. Knows. <laughs> no, they're gonna be in L.A. Never mind. Standard delivers Florida. in L.A. I thought. Yeah. You know the laws in Florida would allow it. <laughs> that is the Johnny's standing his ground. <laughs> like what the hell? <laughs> This shit has got really intense. Waller's dead. He just <laughs> stayed your ground, man. Rush. Johnny just showed up with a bunch of rolling twenty crips. <laughs> like, I mean, I I could definitely see this ending. Like, uh, what was that fucking show, Hamilton, where they just sitting there with flintlock pistols at the end, take five paces, and Waller shoots him in the leg. Shots. <laughs> right, <laughs> so ridiculous. All right, so I'm, uh, thinking, I'm I thinking hate Johnny to win this one. Um, Grayson doesn't need to win for an advancement of his character. And, and yo, can we talk about the Johnny wrestling conundrum real quick before we move through the card? Because my man's a raw. He got no pop when he came out for his match. I'm like, damn. Why are they doing okay, Johnny? Listen, I think it's yeah. overexposure. Listen, it's overexposure. Listen. I know. I know. Here we, I, I'll I disagree. Quiet. Listen. I don't think it's no. no uh, it oh, took oh, a oh, long cool. time for Johnny to get over the way he was mm -hmm. in NXT. He was just a guy showing up every Tuesday, having good and matches, having good, good matches. matches. Then they put him in the tag team with Tommaso. That, and that got, got over. over like it, after time, Johnny was never supposed to happen the way he did in NXT. So to think that right. he was just going to hop up on the main roster and just be just crazy be over. Favorite. After like being off TV for like nine months, it, listen, that's just respect. crazy to even think. Johnny Gargano is a, a much smaller version of what I would say, uh, probably, um, probably uh, Gable. So Gable was was a charismatic guy. Everybody could see that. Oh, he has something. But they just didn't believe in him. I think it's a little bit vice versa here. I think the the um, trips and them believe in him, but the crowd doesn't see it yet. It's not connecting, and I think it does take time. So not overexposure. I think he just has to have meaningful shit. Yeah, he's yeah, not it has doing to do with anything the meaningful. Like he's he's They're next presenting to Dexter Loomis, and like there's no real story there outside of they were. Cool in right. NXT, kind of, because and they're presenting him like he's already that guy. Yeah, that he's not. He has to still work his way. And again, this is what most guys, even if they look like a million bucks, most of them that come from NXT prior to had to survive the year uh, and a half of terrible booking from Vince. 
and just like, all right, well, we're going to switch completely switch your gimmick up here. Just do this. Johnny doesn't feel special right now. He needs to actually start coming out with maybe uh, like how he was doing for he was Johnny Takeover. Every takeover, every pay per view that Johnny's on, he needs to come out in his DC or Marvel inspired gear, start endearing some of the fans to him. You need to have like just put on banger matches. So you don't even need like a good story yet. Just have, throw him in there with uh, Ali and Ziggler. That's a banger. Yo, it's E Ray, the quasi bad guy, the Diet Coke of evil, the side god of pod. And I'm here to tell y'all. Come check out my show, Binge Flicks and Chill. You never know what you're going to get, but we always talking some good shit when it comes to television and the latest movies. So we want to bring y'all in. We want to make sure you have a good time. You learn something, you laugh, you cry. You might stab a nigga or two. I don't know what you're going to get, but that shit is popping. So come check out Binge Flicks and Chill. And it's me, E-Ray, and I'm out. And he needs to win That's matches, it. and it needs to be about like his story, not about somebody else's story, not about somebody faltering on their road to like their pay per view match, or you know getting right. caught in a distraction and losing to Johnny. No, right. he needs to win or because he's Johnny fucking Gargano, money one of like the top shit. twenty wrestlers in the world. Like he needs to win and progress his own story. And like, when you see him get wins, it's like oh okay, Johnny won a match, cool. But how, how's a loser gonna recover? coming up on wrestlemania or a backlash or whatever it's it's never about johnny and that's the problem like they started a little bit with theory and then they just pivoted theory away because they're like oh yep. we see megastar oh, you got John Cena. yeah like, oh, we see John megastar Cena. here we gotta yeah, cash in on this now so <laughs> like johnny's gonna get there because he's just yeah. too good at what he does but and he's got the well, right guy take some time. If it was Vince still running the show, he he would be on in the indie somewhere, I'd imagine, or AEW. Uh, no, nah, they they brought him up originally, him and Tommaso, but they tagged him together That's again awesome. randomly, I, which was like I just know these Vince... guys are beefing. Yeah, they tagged him when they were in the middle of a last blood week. Feud. They were literally saying. trying to kill each other. Shows you how much Vince other. cared to begin with. That's what I'm saying. Like you think he's like he's still a Vince. Let's say none of the the, the none of the twelve million or nine million dollar talk comes out. Vince is still doing bits. Johnny Gargano is he on? Is he on any of these cards? Stand and deliver or WrestleMania is is my question. Yeah, it just says Johnny versus Grayson. A stand and deliver. That's the first match uh, on the card. I mean, if, if, said if Vince was there, oh, Vince, Vince was there. No, yes, no. that's what I'm saying, <laughs> no. man. That's a word, but I'm glad because I like Johnny. I'm a Johnny guy. It's just the, the crowd reactions kind of surprised me. But y'all educate me. He has to. This is what he does. He has to battle for the connection and. People got to buy in. So sorry. You got I mean, this is what, honestly, this is what we're seeing now, but the ev the evolution of when it comes to Cody Rhodes. Mm. Cody Rhodes was like, I liked him, but people didn't get it. They didn't feel any attachment to him yeah. when he was dashing Cody Rhodes and then starred up, blah, blah. It's like, whatever. He's just a guy. He's been here. He's a hand. He's a good hand. But he was friends with Randy. Randy Orton took off. Sometimes that happens. I was like, Tommaso Ciampa looks like a very intimidating small guy. So you can do some things with him. Johnny is like just your pretty run of the mill looking guy where that works on the uh, smaller stage of NXT because it's like, oh, the every man, we want to see him win and he becomes the heart of our brand mm -hmm. or he becomes such a diabolical villain because he's not that big, but he's doing some dastardly shit. On the main roster, it's about larger than life. Yeah, when you in a thirty thousand person huge. arena, like the person in G nosebleed twenty five looks down and sees another to five see nine man. guy, they're like, "Yeah, he, he better be." They didn't come here Bryant. to see every man. Yeah, they came here to see Kane, the Undertaker, John Cena, like these Roman huge, yes. massive unrealistic human beings so Correct. i think it's going to take time because even tez montez ford has a way with the crowd and people just react they love him but it's still going to take like some time to <coughs> excuse me to find where he needs to be and kind of find his niche but that's just a part that's just a part of it um anywho we were 
on Grayson Waller. I'm going with Grayson Waller winning. I don't think Johnny's winning. Yeah. I'm, I I I want to say Johnny too, <laughs> but I just can't. Grayson, Grayson, why is he down? Why is Johnny down here to put himself over? It doesn't make sense. So it's got to be Grayson. To to he, to to take up for Papa Sean. Yeah. Oh yeah, that is the reason why he's down there. Even more reason he's losing. Maybe he, maybe Johnny's <laughs> fighting to get his old music back. I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> he, he fight the wrong dude. He that... fight CFO. These rebel <laughs> hearts. Yeah, 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 Come yeah, yeah, CFO. yeah. <laughs> Please. I was like, what? All right. All right. Anyway, next up we got. I don't like how they, I don't like how they worded this on this website. Schism versus Tyler Bate and Chase U for control of the Chase U campus, which I guess we're assuming is actually a thing. I like this. I'm very excited about it. Um, Chase U just does it for me. They, they're so fun. Listen, I don't know if they Andre make... Chase has like any other aspirations as far as like titles or anything, but he can do this shit for 20 years. I th- I, and he can actually I, go. I feel like that's what slacks. he's there to do. <laughs> Anybody that can wrestle in a sweater, a dresser, <laughs> and slacks and make it look good, God bless him. Um, that's probably what he's here to do is to just be Chase U. They might, will they ever bring Chase U up to the main roster? Who knows? Probably not. I don't, and, yeah, and I don't see that happening. I feel like they're working the wrong way too because Duke Hudson has been reformed because of Chase U. He was on his way out of here. Let's be real. And Duke is now another love, uh, a lovable guy. But he, they just keep like teasing. They're teasing this breakup, and I'm like, stop it. Just it's so much fun, and they're making schism like uh, uh, tolerable on TV. Cause I, uh, it's not even that they're bad. It's just I don't care. I I don't want to. I don't care about somebody named Jagger Reed. <laughs> What is a jaggery? I don't even know what the other dude's name is. Jaggery and I company. Yeah, uh-huh. exactly. Rip Hamilton or some shit. I don't know. What it don't do it. it. Schism is cool just because the Rock's daughter's in it. And she's doing stuff Joe Gacy. Different. That's what. That's not cool either. See, B A E Ray hates Schism so much because me and him were both such grizzled young veteran fans. I get <laughs> it. G Y V. I I understand. Grizzled. Young veterans soon be wrecked to yeah. be. And they never were. <laughs> <laughs> and then the skills. Never to be champions. Like, <laughs> ever. That's just, <laughs> they turned to jaggery. <laughs> I hate it so much. I mean, damn it. They were like, they were NXT UK oh. tag champions, from what I've heard. I never watched NXT UK, but. Yeah. Oh, count. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. So, E Ray, you picking Chase U in this one? Chase U and the big to. strong boy? Got to, because what you can't have the schism. Schism is like Judgment Day. They're not here to win. Yeah, they're here. They, they're here to intimidate, but they're not winning. Weirdness. Yeah. I if I lose to a motherfucker named Jagger. If it ain't Mick Jagger, I bet I lose to Mick Jagger. Mick Jagger I'll like break this motherfucker's bones. Right. I know. But I, a stiff wind just start breaking his kneecaps. <laughs> ah! Oh no! Ain't no more moves like Jagger. <laughs> moves like Jagger's an ambulance. All right, be it. <laughs> be it. You gonna chase you as well? Yeah, man. Schism are like like E-Ray said. They're here for. They're not here for dubs. They're here for pure chaos and carnage. And this is yeah. just like this would be a good way to put a bow in this thing and let these two. Factions move on to other stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm going that way too. Chase I mean, to they don't put the out. big strong boy on TV too much to lose. Tyler Bay, right. shout out to Tyler Bay. I love this new hippie gimmick he got. It's great. It's fun. I'm a hippie leader. Um, next up, <laughs> we got tag team triple threat match for the tag titles. We got Tony D and Stacks Two Dimes Four Nickels versus the Creed Brothers versus Gallus Boys on top. So Olive Garden versus <laughs> Quaker Steak and Lube. <laughs> I was say the Olive Garden versus uh, what was it 
Foxtrot or Fox oh, Hulk, Fox whatever. The how? <laughs> no, the fucking uh, Wrestle Camp, the dude who shot the oh, people. Oh, Fox uh, Catcher. Shit. Fox Catcher. Yeah. Fox Catcher, yeah. <laughs> versus Fox Catcher versus uh, just Irish pub. drunks. The Irish. Dallas boys are Quaker steak and loot. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm. I mean, Gallus. Gallus boys on top. Apparently. There it is. There it is. Says, so says Dub. Gallus. I still, I've yet to witness these Gallus boys just on top. That APA. just feels like the wrongest. Yeah. For an APA. There it is. For it is. IPA. Right. <laughs> IPA, I like it. Yeah. International Protection Association. I love it. That's and it. it's a beer. Come on, guys. <laughs> they, I have to, to be say. paid to do this. You know what I'm Double saying. Double entendre. Don't even ask me how. Man, they need to take that. If y'all ain't listening to anything, y'all need to listen to that shit. All right. And Next that up, we got Wesley versus Dragon Lee. Double versus Dragon. Everybody. Right. Versus JD oh, McDonough. Versus Ilya Dragunov. Versus TBA for the NXT yeah, the North American. Wait, can, I was like, can we get but two things? Number one, can we guess predictions? Who is the fifth ring member that's going to be in this match? Okay, yeah. Absolutely Axiom. I think we're all going Axiom Axiom. here, right? Yes. It's been positioned that way. Like, Axiom's like, I'm getting my title shot. If I got to handcuff your ass to me, I'm getting this title (laughs) shot. (laughs) He was stalking Uh, him last week. He, like, had a turtleneck on. I'm getting this title shot. Look at my eyes. I'm getting this title shot. Look at this turtleneck. That means I'm here for business. Let's get some breakfast. It's like, okay, yeah, sure. The match isn't for four hours, so let's get some breakfast. Like, all right. <laughs> okay. Cool. Sure, well, that sounds good. Whatever. So get some Denny's. Wesley eating Grand Denny's. Slam it up. <laughs> right. Let's, let's go to that um, diner that Apollo and Braun are at. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, let's go fishing, guys. <laughs> like, that would be amazing. Right. That's what they should have did. Uh, that would have been great television. They go to the diner, uh, Apollo's just sitting there, and then they go fishing yeah. with Braun. <laughs> and Braun's like, why are you guys here? He's like, oh, no, this is so good. Actually, I'm, like, I'm not leaving until right. I get my title got, match. Like, well, all right, here's a rod. Uh, we got time to kill. <laughs> <laughs> that was just both that big is enough. So good. That is quality <laughs> television. That would have been incredible. WWE, um, hire us to run your digital. I, I got so many of these sketch yeah, ideas. Simple, man. It would have been so great. So you um, got the ideas. Y'all got the technology. Come on. Who else, who else is on the roster? Um, White Blade. I mean. Papa Tunde. Right. Odyssey Jones. He got like, shot. He, uh, nah, I feel like White Blade Vaughn has Wagner. been in too many, too many chances, and they don't want him to lose again, so they're gonna keep him out. Correct. Uh, I gotta basically eliminate the people that aren't gonna be there. Von Wagner can't see over his flesh brow, so <laughs> that's never happening. Um, I feel like Abba Baba Tunde because he just can beat up people, but then they're gonna jump him, get him out of there. So, I. I would go that way, but Axiom probably is going to have a nice little standout in the match and then take that home because we need just a, a good five of, whoa, pause, <laughs> five-way, five-way battle royal action. So, yeah, Sky fatal five-way. All right, so we're yeah. all going to Axiom to, Axiom to be in, in the match. So who are we taking now? to win the fatal five-way? e I want to start off with you. Who are you picking and why are you picking Dragon Lee? Honorable mention to the work that Ilya Dragunov and Big Head McDonough did this Tuesday. They beat the shit out of each other. And it was incredible. And I was loving it. I'm like, I was like, this is awesome. I, I, I took a break and I was like, I drove to Aldi's and that shit was still on. I was like, damn, they still going? Damn. Well, oh, let me see what's going on. And then I started watching it and just the the... German suplex, the German release suplex. I was like, oh, this is, they going for it. I'm loving this. So I'm thinking um, if I had to choose a, a winner, I feel like they may be cool with Wesley's time coming up, being up. And I think either you give it to Ilya or you give it to, um, to dragon or excuse me <laughs> Ilya Ilya or dragon yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's it that's the only option baby that's what i'm going with Chuck it, duck it. done Quack. Quack. right i mean i gotta say 
I think I mean I, I want to say Dragunov. They're kind of setting it up, but I think Wesley's gonna retain and set up a few because Dragunov's gonna come in close and have like the opportunity to win. And but something fucked up's gonna happen, and they just gonna beef from there on out. That's gonna be the next beef is Wesley and, and Dragunov individually. Ooh, okay. Big okay. Ed McDonough will be out of there. I I would like that. I'm not mad as long as they don't go respectability. No. I'll teach you how to. I might stop watching. Be a maestro. Team. If that's what we keep doing with these titles, if I see Wesley I'm do out. this on TV, I'm gonna flip out. Like, all right, I'm turning it off. Mm. Turn this shit off. So, um, I'm actually going. I'm going JD McDonough here. The big head North, get it finally. The North American title hasn't been on a heel in a long time. So, yeah. and technically, the North American is also the cruiserweight belt, which was the last belt he yep. had. Mm. Which I loved him with it. The Irish Ace came to play, and the, the was the Devil Inside or Ace in the Hole, whatever that shit is. Devil Fantastic. in the Hole. No, Devil Inside. It used to be called Devil in the Hole. Yeah, when, I was, he, I when just they brought him across the pond, they called it the Devil Inside. All right, word. And, all right. Hold on, give me, give me give me two seconds. Let me write down these. All right, so yep, I got that. Yep, yep. All right, hey. next match. Here we go. NXT women's tag titles. Women. Fallon Henley oh. and that cheating Kiana James. Booker versus T's favorite match of the night. That dirty. <laughs> versus Alba Fire. Wait, 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 guys. Wait. Respect all black women. Not too much on Kiana James. You're right. You're right. I'm going to just be quiet. But that bitch be cheating. Uh, yeah, them two. Feels like that. He ain't swinging it like Odyssey Jones. <laughs> <laughs> versus Alba Fire and Isla Dawn. BA, tell me why Isla Dawn is gonna win this match tonight. Shuck it, duck it, quack. Quack. I'm sorry, book. I'm sorry, book. The the darkest cup of milk in the in the, in the fridge is not <laughs> milk, not gonna take that title. You mean the smoothest oh, cup. Of, no, you see? she's the darkest. Dark. <laughs> she would be the darkest. She's no, she's goth and all that stuff. I mean, technically, she'd be the the brightest, the palest milk. Yeah, tomato, tomato. But But yes, (laughs) Um, I would have to say, out of the ladies involved, so we got Isla Dawn, Kiana James. Stop trying to make sense of this, BA. Dog, I'm trying. I want to stop. Stop. It's uh, bad. Doesn't matter. I guess I'll say fucking Kiata Jays because she's the biggest heel in the world. She's a black woman. And she's got support all gimmick. black women. Absolutely. So there we go. Kiana James because I have. Don't Kiana even James is going to retain solo. She's she's the she's the tag team champion. Oh yeah, tag. Kiana James and Fallon <laughs> Hilly. Sorry, sorry. He is out of his mind. That's how much he is like ugh black woman. <laughs> <laughs> No, damn, no, you can't evil. even you can't even fake it. He tried to put like, the black woman so, up most, over so much that he forgot to mention the white woman. I love it. See, crazy. You got to double down. Got I get over the other side too. I get it. Have some respect for this match. Um, e Ray, I know you love crystal match. chicks and witchcraft, so I know you're picking Aladon. No, I'm not. Uh, the way this is being booked. They love those backstage promotion mm-hmm. shits. And yep. I'm like, what is happening? Why am I constantly watching this soap opera unfold? And why is this like an episode of Dallas? So like, bad. I don't understand what this shit is. It's HBK like, definitely Melrose watched Place. Dallas. For sure. It, it's some of this shit, but I'm like, what is going on here? Either him or me. I knew you were cheating with a boyfriend because of da-da-da. Oh, it's my brother. Da-da-da. I'm trying to buy your bar. Like, what is they talking about? But they keep putting this shit on every week. So I'm just assuming they have to keep this uh, another uneasy alliance together. So that I, I got to see the... Uh, Isla Dawn and and uh, Elbow Fire are not taking these these belts on. Plus, it just doesn't make sense. I would hate to see them as tag champions. It just makes no sense. Okay. Ah, I, don't, I mean, look, man. Unless Victor Newman gets involved somehow, 
I'm picking Isla Dawn. What, what about about if, uh, what about Michael B. Jordan get involved? Why so they can call him corny? Is somebody is somebody watching the ER special? I hear these beeps. Beep. Is somebody, beep. somebody flatlining? Are we okay? I don't, I don't hear it. I don't hear any beeps, sir. That might be your humble abode. Oh, that's maybe, maybe Taz is like getting ready to make an entrance and choke you out. <laughs> All right, E Ray. So you're, you're taking Fallon and Kiana. BA, are you picking Fallon and Kiana? Or are you rolling with the witchcraft? It's, it's going to be Fallon, Kiana. Kiana, if it could just be by herself. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Kiana and Fallon. <laughs> All right. Got that um, one, and then now we're getting to the shits, if you will. Women's Fatal 4-Way Ladder Match for the now vacant NXT Women's title because Roxanne's being written off TV because she's being called up you for some strange reason. Me. You oh. ain't gotta ask me. All right, so we got Zoe Stark versus Facts. Cheeks Dolan. <laughs> That's it. Versus Cheeks Galore. Tiffany Stratton. <laughs> Versus Lyra Valkyria. We already know E Ray is picking Zoe Stark. BA. There's no other Give option. me your pick. And why are you picking Lyra Valkyria? Tell me. Um, <laughs> I can't even say right. her name without being disrespectful and mispronouncing it, so I'm not even gonna try. Uh <laughs> my my pick is gonna be, you know, I already put her over as the best heel Leslie in this Viking. company. Yeah, yeah, that. <laughs> Leslie Viking, yeah. Yes, Leslie Viking. <laughs> no. Viking. Zoe Stark, come on, man. I tried to solidify her as the best heel in the business, and y'all brought the Nikita gimmick back alive on me. She just healed off and said, rap sucks. And oh, yeah, said, yeah. People were not hey, happy. Hey, guess what? This is my dad. He's a person of color. <laughs> like, yeah, oh, she's, yeah. She's, she's fully healed up. She hit him with yeah. the, here's my black she friend. She was trolling but it's my so dad. many people. Oh, it was so yeah. beautiful to see. I'm like, y'all are all just eating this shit up. Y'all need something to do. So <laughs> it was funny to great. I'm going Tiffany Stratton here. I think they pulled the trigger. Golden Globes, huh? <laughs> wow. I right. think it should go to Zoe, <laughs> but I think they did. I think they're just ready. I think they're ready to pull that trigger. <sighs> Best moon salt in the I business. Yeah. That's the safe. That's the safe bet. Is that safe enough I for, think Zoe's for a trip? A safe or, bet. I was say it, that's what I'm saying. Is that the, is that safe enough for uh, Michaels to pull the trigger on Tiffany Stratton, or or is it Zoe's a I'll, sure thing? I'll say it'll be a it'll be a more entertaining title run with Tiffany Stratton, as far as the stuff they can do with her and the, the bits they can do and shit whoa, like hey, that. Calm down, BA. Whoa, whoa, backstage. Whoa, no hey, you calm down. I'm not saying any of that, sir. <laughs> Oh. I think Tiffany Epiphanies don't need a title. I think that 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 could stand on its own. I agree. And it'd be fun if she wins the title. It feel it What's just on it's half baked. I think you have to get. I think you give that because Zoe needs the title, especially as a heel. And that's so much more fun of her just talking shit because she just shat on uh on uh, our our long lost Indy Hartwell, who lost another one. <laughs> like emphasis on loss. She lost another one, and she's just like, you ain't going to be in the title match. <laughs> and just walked away. That's it. That's her shit. She could be such a dickish heel, and it's going to be so great as champion. Yes. I can't wait to see it. Okay. That's my Tiffany epiphany. Take that shit. <laughs> Go, Blues. <laughs> one match left. Hey, keep my heel's name out your mouth. One match left. All right. Oh, should we even talk about it? What is that beep? I heard it just now. I told you. <laughs> what the fuck is I don't that? hear any beep. It's not like we in a hospital room. That's Dub's headphones dying. <laughs> beep. Beep. Dub is on life support right now. Ah, uh, these headphones are at 63%. No, we're good. I mean, his phone's at 10%. It could be that. Um, right. How is Carmelo winning? Is, <laughs> is there going to be trick interference? Is Mm-mm. is Melo just gonna go needs. gonna go over super clean while Braun makes his forward march to the main roster? Let me you ask y'all that man. question. They're probably 
there probably will be interference. And you know why there will be? Because they won't try to make Melo look stronger than Brian out the way out the door. They're going to make they can't have a black man looking shit, strong. Man. I, I feel you. They good. already won't let him be himself. So why are they going to let him win the title like he should? I don't have confidence in that. Wonder what that is. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> he raised like a child. He's so easily distracted. I, I'm telling you, somebody's on life support. Check on grandma. What are y'all? I don't know what's happening. It's big um, mama from last week. Big mama? Big mama, That's your flashlight. Y'all ain't shit. Um, I, honestly, I, I would, I'm trying to pick I'm trying to book the worst possible way for them to for them to uh, put Carmelo Hayes over. I think the worst possible way is they have a match that's just like evenly kiln and it's Carmelo and Braun just doing move for move and they're all like have it's just nothing to it but just showing their athletic prowesses <laughs> and then Trick says something like yeah and he's just basically a cheerleader instead. And uh, Braun goes for the spear, hits his shoulder on the turnbuckle, and then Carmelo goes to jumps to the top ring, hits him with the axe kick, ends it. Like just very vanilla, bland bullshit. I would hate it, but at least we had that title t- title change that we all desire. Sure. Next question: If Braun Breaker wins, do I need to like? Call y'all on like a Skype call as I'm driving to BAs for WrestleMania for an emergency pod. We'll just have um, it. We'll just have it when we get to my house. <laughs> just, just fire up probably. I'll say y'all just hit me up. I'll be here. Like, guys. Actually, no. Honestly, I'll be real. This build is so bad. If Braun won, I probably wouldn't even be mad. <laughs> That's how shitty this build is. That's crazy. The guy that I just need to take it off of them. They're not doing it right. Everybody else that they've had to build up against Braun, the build has been great. That's why we're like, oh shit, he really could do it. And then they lose. What if they're doing this? This build the plan is so is shitty. To call up Melo and not call up Braun. Like they they, they realize like Braun needs Swerve two more City. Years. And they're like, oh, Melo's that would ready. be incredible. That would be incredible. And I'm like, holy shit, Braun lost. Uh, Braun won. And then Melo's just off TV with like broken ribs. And then he pops up on uh, WWE and they put him in a tag team with uh, Montez Ford. <laughs> Why? <laughs> that is the like the uber worst case scenarios. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. I, I feel like either way, this match is probably going to disappoint. I haven't enjoyed a Braun match since he lost. So, yeah. <laughs> I, the only Braun matches I liked was the two he lost. <laughs> the one to Tommaso well, and the, the one to... Yeah, right. And the one to uh, to Dolph Ziggler. Mm-hmm. So, there's that. Carmelo Hayes, I've liked pretty much every match he's had. This is, I'm feeling like the... This is so evenly matched. Can I like a Braun match if he wins? Can I like a Carmelo? Can I hate a Carmelo Hayes match? Yes. I don't you, know. You might find out this up or yeah, the next weekend, unfortunately. You might be finding out pretty soon. Just like I found out this morning when I was getting my beard ready, you know, getting my chin strap, allegedly that E-Ray says it's sewn on my face. It's actually real, y'all. Uh, but the good Not old that folks said, lady told me. Well, well. <laughs> Look, the it good... does the lace front beards, VA. <laughs> Calm down. He's so out of the loop. He doesn't even know. That's how you know it's real. He's like, what? African lady? I don't, I don't like I don't those. Know. I only like. <laughs> <laughs> I hate y'all. Anyways, yes. I was really interrupted by E-Ray here. What I found out this morning upon using the uh, good old beard kit that we were sent a few weeks back from Manscaped, the shears, the most low-key, like, who cares type of thing in the whole box, as some would think. But if you really got a beard and sometimes when the straggles be straggling, 
And when you go, I, I got a little hang time on mine, and it starts to like kind of sprout out like on some old crazy ass homie the clown from the side hair type of stuff. It gets kind of wild. So I had my suit and booted. I had my Cody. I gave myself the Cody speech in the mirror this morning, dressing like the person I want to be, not who I am. You know, y'all feel the vibes and. I started looking at my beard. I'm like, I can't walk out the house like this, man. I meet with people that got millions of dollars. Like, they would think I'm not giving my money to this scraggly homeless man. Dollars. Billions so dollars. I had to get some little sniff sniffing here. Snapped up or, or cleaned up the beard. Got it looking even, nice and clean. Pulled out the, the, the trimmer. Lined up the stash. Lined up the outline of the beard real quick. So something I would have had to call my barber about, or at least I used to think. And shout out to my barber. I still will come back to see you. I promise. <laughs> he's such a nice guy. He came and say, fuck my barber. Nah, man. Manscaped got me together. He's Man, like, respect uh, my guy, Josh. I, I still see you, guy. I still yes, see you on I still Monday. See you. I got you. I got you. But when you in a pinch, them shears got me together, signing million-dollar deals. You already know how B-A-D-B-I-C do. But I couldn't have done that this morning in such a quick fashion without our good friends at Manscaped. And like and we tell you guys every week, the, the 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 discount code 20 percent off free shipping e-ray was telling y'all last week when you think you buying something and you get that extra random six to ten dollar charge you're like what the hell this ain't tax that's what manscape is trying <laughs> that's what manscape is trying to help you avoid so go holler at our good folks at manscape not only do they have the beer kit they got the weed whacker they got the 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 hedge lawn trimmer mower. the lawn mower for the for the nether regions and all that fun stuff yeah. all the beard things. bombs beard shampoo ball deodorant come yes, on y'all you so know much. you ever woke up musty well try that for your balls you want to have musty ass balls nah, no you don't especially in between workouts and stuff people are people that work out in the morning you shower super early you work for a long time in the afternoon that underneath area ain't gonna be hitting like it was fresh that out undercarriage of the gonna need some maintenance <laughs> and if you ain't got a mechanic around you got some, manscape in town baby use it use some of that crop topper that eway is uh referencing so go on the site manscape.com 20 percent off with the good old code territory 20 percent off free shipping go check them out go mess with the people that support us Y'all know what it is. Had to shout them out as we start to come to a close here on another great episode of Let Me Book the Territory. So thank you, Manscaped, and, for keeping my and beard by nice. Shears, and BA means scissors for the poor people. Ah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I don't know how He's to speak. He's too rich. I don't speak poor. He doesn't poor. know. No, I, was right. like, <laughs> I don't speak broke. <laughs> I don't know what that but, means. But, guys think we have arrived at another fantastic episode of let me book the territory and um honestly next week uh mania predictions now that we'll have pretty much the whole card and a little bit of recap uh before we get out of here guys something is a brewing in that other place but we just don't have time to talk about it. And that's been another episode of AW Quick Hit. <laughs> that is funny. But uh, seriously, they they are doing talks with the pillars, the four pillars talk. They're kind of leaning into it. I got and a little lots quick of hit. things are happening. Well, um, can I tell you a little but, quick hit I found? I saw uh, um, FTR, one of the best tag teams in wrestling, said that they will quit AEW if they lose to the Ass Boys. Just wanted to throw that out there. I don't know when that match is happening. That's like I, I don't said, know what quick, to do with that. Quick hit. It's but they said they would quit AEW if they lose whatever match they're about to have with the Ass Boys. Knowing AEW, it'll be a match on Friday night. Back to you, it'll E-Ray. It'll probably be in May or something <laughs> of that nature in their next pay-per-view. But until then, just to let you know, guys, uh, AEW doing stuff. We'll eventually start watching it again because it seems like it's a little bit more worthy of being watched. So we'll have some more commentary on it and maybe extendo this uh, quick hit session so that way we can talk about it a little bit more. But uh, yeah, for the last like three months, it, it had been unbearable. So, um, but I'm happy to see this upswing. This reminds me of, uh, I was watching WWE Rivals the other, other night on A&E 
and that shit had the WCW versus uh, Monday Night Raw, WWE matches and all this stuff was going on. Fantastic. So I feel like this could be another. They're starting to learn from their mistakes. Love that. And uh, also, lastly, gotta gotta uh, speak out, guys. Apple TV Plus, Monster Factory, t- dealing with the school, the Monster Factory school in uh, New Jersey. Uh, it's wrestling. It's really good. A lot of guys that you may know, Damian Priest, Matt Riddle, came from the Monster Factory. That's where they were trained. And now they're on your TVs. Well, one of them is. The other one's in rehab. But he, he'll be back, apparently. Or we hope. Uh, but, yeah, there's a lots of really good, heartfelt information there. RK bro forever. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Monster Factory is the shit. So, guys, if you don't have time for to do that, then you can always look at A-Dub's timeline. Dub, tell them where they can find Ladies it. and gentlemen, if you guys are looking for me... Every Tuesday, new episodes of the Embrace the Turn Up podcast. We took this last Tuesday off, you know, post St. Patrick's Day recovery. You know how we get down. Other than that, timeline, (laughs) ADUB1220 on IG and on Twitter. Hit that follow button and let me fuck up your algorithms. If you're up in Detroit, I will be on the production crew for the NCNWCW Indie Wrestling Show. So holla at your boy. Uh, yeah, I'm in the industry. Sorry. What does that stand for? Uh, Northwest Championship Wrestling. Niggas with championships wrestling. <laughs> what? I, want, I want some picks, Dub. I got you. You gotta, you gotta show the people on the pod page or your page. I got you. I'm, I'm gonna take some good. picks this time around. On the Let Me Book the Territory Instagram page. Yeah, hey, we have one of those. Yeah. BA, tell the people where they can find you at. All the places. Oh. Uh, Y'all know all the places, but none of them. Y'all know what it is. You will not find BA on Facebook, on Twitter. Good old Snapchat. You're not going to see me there. Absolutely not. But you will see BA running the illustrious, most dominant, most influential podcast Twitter page at Let Me Book Pod. All the takes, all the thoughts. Receiving any DMs, that's BA. If you're receiving any. No. (laughs) Jesus. Only for, DMs for I upcoming send interviews. Is, is about yep. interviews and upcoming interviews, possible yes. other on-air talents Collaboration. coming to join us. Collaborate. That That's what said, he's calling it. Collaboration. There are some collaborations brewing very soon. soon. Whoa, collaborations brewing. <laughs> yes. I hope. No, I'm just uh, Yes, definitely. <laughs> I just see how love, they do me, This y'all. is my favorite I'm just part trying of the to show, enhance the show. Attempting to get B.A. in trouble with his <laughs> I wife. I love my wife. But none of... All right. oh, I promise I do. I'm coming to you, baby. <laughs> After the show. Um, no, but seriously, guys, it, it, he's doing a great job. Uh, interact with the with the pod. Yeah. I'll be interacting with the page with and us. sometimes shooting messages from the page on accident because I didn't realize it. But either way, it's all good. And when I'm not accidentally tweeting from one. the pod page, you can hit me up at nowhere because i don't want to talk to you losers but Damn. i would love for you to follow the content at e underscore ray the bad guy on instagrams as well as e underscore ray the hipster on the twitters usually doing nothing but talking wrestling now i have cut the filth out of my diet because it is cleanse and get shredded season i won't watch filth until tomorrow but, guys, <laughs> this has been another episode of Let Me Book the Territory. As the most constipated man I know always says, to sweet me when you see me, B.A. says, hey, guys, please give me some talcum powder so my head can stop being so shiny. And E-Ray loves to say, oh, stay there and let the madness wash over you. Yeah. Guys, this has been another episode of Let Me Book the Territory, and we are out. Peace.